everyone and welcome back to Art with Miss Choate. Today we're going to be doing something super exciting and it goes along with Miss Nietzsche's story time about something coming in the mail. I'm not going to give anything away so you go watch it but we are going to decorate envelopes today. Now this is something you normally you either A have never mailed something but hopefully if you watch my videos you mailed somebody a hug not too long ago but you never think about the envelope itself. You just put your name, their name, and that's it. But you know what I thought about? You already have a card maybe that you'd put in here, but you didn't think about the envelope or the card that you know, you're sending doesn't have a pretty envelope. So I'm gonna give you three different ways to decorate your envelope. The first way is gonna be with paint and just doing some fun shapes and colors. This is really great for like preschool, not thinking about too much detail. Another way is gonna be a really cool illustration. And then the third way is going to be some pretty floral elements. So you can pick which way you want to do, or you can do all three and mail out three letters. And so originally I was like, you know, I can make you have a pen pal, but you can choose who you want to send this to. So let's get started. The first way we're going to do is with our paints and our shapes and our lines. We're going to keep it pretty basic for this. The one thing I do want to talk about is think about where your name needs to go and where their ne name needs to go. So you might need to draw out those shapes either on a color pencil or even with your paint so that way you don't forget. Or if you have one of those mailing stickers, then you could just paint the whole thing and put that on top. I don't have one of those, so I am going to draw out and I'll incorporate this into my art. A little box over here for my name, a little box here for the stamp, that way I make sure the stamp really sticks, and then a box here for their address. Now if you know who it's going to, go ahead and write that out right away, that way you know you have enough space. So I just marked out where I need to write. Now your address, I don't know if you know this fancy, you can put it actually back here but I'm only going to paint one side. If you're going to paint both sides of your envelope, you need to wait for this side to dry before you flip it over. I know my students always want to flip it over early, but then you just mess up your table and mess up your art. So I'm just going to do lines and shapes. So think about what colors go really good together. So I'm going to do some green. I'm going to do some curved lines. I'm going to let the marks of my paintbrush show. I really think that's nice. That happens when my brush is dry. And I'm just gonna have fun. And you can talk to your children about what kind of lines. Uh, are there, there's curved lines, zigzag lines. Maybe we go ahead, I'm gonna do red. And try to think about it being a design. Don't just throw things randomly. Be thoughtful on your marks. I'm gonna go ahead and put some yellow in. Maybe I'll do some shapes. Make sure you don't get your envelope too wet since you know you're gonna need to let it dry. You don't want it too wobbly. But you do have a good amount of freedom with this. And don't forget about layering. Don't forget all those techniques we talked about in other videos. So when you put these colors on top of each other, And you can keep going until you're happy with it. And I do want to draw out something here. So I'm going to go ahead and draw here. And I'm not going to keep exactly with that box. I'm just kind of mimicking 
that area. And you know what, I'm gonna keep the same color and do it right here, but I'm gonna have them connect. And I like how it's kind of transparent. I'm gonna let that continue. And I really, I like it right here. I'm gonna stop. So feel free to play with those shapes, play with those colors. So let's move on to the next way. So the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna draw a whale. And we're actually gonna make the water that's coming out of the blowhole where the address goes for the person you're sending it to. So we're gonna be doing this in pencil, so draw lightly in case you make a mistake. And we're gonna draw first our waves at the bottom. So it's just gonna be a wavy line. And we're gonna color that in blue at the end. So we got our wavy line. And now we're gonna do an arch right in about the center of our envelope. Not too big because we need room for the for our who it's going to. So we're gonna draw an arch. That is the back of the whale. And then over here, we're gonna draw the tail, which is gonna be a curved line. And then a pointed, like a V. The other side of the tail, which is also a V. And then another curved line. So there's its tail. We're gonna draw its blow hole here. We're gonna put eyes. We're only gonna to get to see part of its mouth because it's halfway underwater. And give it little eyebrows. It's a happy whale. And now we're gonna draw water coming out of this bull hole. And this is where it's gonna be like a speech bubble, like you see in a comic book. And this is where you're gonna put the address. Now you could write the address before you draw this bubble that way you make sure you leave enough space. And you still have room for your stamp and you have room for your address here. Or like I said on this one, you could put your address back here in case you make that too big. So now we can go ahead and color this. And you can choose whatever supplies you want to color. I'm gonna use a uh, color pencil. So I'm going to do my water, this blue. I'm going to do the bubble blue. And the nice thing is I can color it and still take a pen and write on top. But if you're doing this in crayon, uh, it's kind of hard to write on top of crayon. So I would write the address first and then color it in crayon. So here we go, our whale's ready for our address. Our last one, we're gonna focus a little bit more on calligraphy. So this might be something you can do while your kids are drawing one of the cute ones here. And I'm actually even gonna write deliver to in calligraphy and I'm, I'm gonna put lines. So I'm gonna put deliver to, lines, and then some floral elements. So I'm gonna leave some space right up here for your address, or again, you can just put your address on the back. So you can check out my video on calligraphy, but basically you're gonna do it in cursive and I go back and I make elements thicker afterwards. And I am gonna use a box to get these straight lines. You can do this in pen or marker, or I'm doing mine in colored pencil. So I'm gonna go back and make some of these lines thicker. Any downward motion gets that thick line. So downward gets thick. So I'm only going over those downward areas. Everywhere else, I'm leaving it one. I 
Here we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do some floral designs. So I'm going to start with a big flower here and I'm going to work towards smaller ones and leaf motifs. So I'm going to start by doing five little circles. Now you can do whatever kind of flower you like, but I'm going to do kind of like a pansy. So five little circles and then we're going to have these big leaves. They get pointed and then they come back in, go out, scalloped edge, come back in. And these don't have to be perfect because there's going to be so much of it that you won't notice little mistakes. And if one doesn't fit, I just let that overlap right there. And you can go ahead add in some detail. So I'm going in with a second line to kind of define the flower. And I'm going to put in some little dots right in here. And like I said, we're going to go off with some leaves. So I'm just drawing one line in, then drawing a leaf is just one arch, another arch, and a line in the center. And you can have smaller ones, bigger ones. Try different curves out, see how they go. Try different types of leaves. Try different numbers. Don't always do, I always tend to do three. You can put one out on a little stem and continue on. So over here, I'm going to put another flower coming into this corner. I'm just going to do a simple little like tulip shape. With some leaves. We're really going to fill up the space. Maybe I can put a little flower coming over here. Maybe it's a little bud. Another little leaf over here. You can see I'm not being terribly careful, but I will be going in and adding color that'll help it look a little convincing. And so I'm going to add another flower and I'm just starting with some consecutive circles, some little lines with dots coming off that center. And now I'm going to do a very similar leaf right here. So it's kind of a wobbly edge and it comes back in. Any mistakes, I kind of just cover up with a thicker black line. Right now, coming off of this one, I do want them to connect. I'm just gonna draw in some lines with some dots to fill that space. And then I'm gonna do one nice long. Now it depends if you're gonna put your address up here. I'm not gonna do it too big, but I am gonna put a little some leaves over here and another little maybe a smaller one so now I'm going to work my way over this way time I'm going to just keep it old school one of those flowers you used to doodle on your on your folder do a couple of those they're nice because they use up space but we're going to add some detail that maybe you want to have done so I'm going to add some black lines in there we're going to elevate these simple little flowers we're going to connect them with some of those dots we did before so we see that element continue Maybe one big leaf with a little more detail than your other leaves. 
So I gave it some texture on the side. And now I'm gonna do one of these flowers again. So I'm gonna do those five circles. And now I'm gonna do that nice soft edge wobbly line. And put some of those dots in here. And it's really a lot about confidence. You're putting so many down that even if one turns out that you don't like, it's really going to be filled up and you're not going to notice. And you want to have some things overlap. So we're going to continue on and let it taper down small just like we did over here. So we're going to do a few more flowers. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to start to add color. Now you could do this with watercolor and you could do a very loose or you can go ahead with color pencils, markers, whatever you feel confident with. So I'm just going to pull out a few colors. Remember, feel free to blend these colors, to mix them. The more you layer on top of each other, I think the richer they're going to look. So I'm just pulling out. And remember, if you want to create a green, blue and yellow makes green, and that's going to look even nicer. And here are our final three decorated beautiful art envelopes that you can now send to a pen pal, send to somebody in your family, maybe there's a birthday coming up, and the thing that they would normally just toss away has your beautiful art on it. So I hope you had fun creating your three envelopes, whether you enjoyed the uh, colorful painted abstract lines and shapes, or if you enjoyed the whale, or if this one was your favorite, the calligraphy mixed with the floral elements. Drop a comment below to let me know which one was your favorite, or did you make all three and you loved all three equally? Let me know in the comments. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and make sure if you haven't already, watch Miss Nucha's story time about something that came in the mail for somebody. So it's a really exciting story. I don't want to give it away. So go watch that now, and I hope you enjoy. Have a wonderful day. Bye.